Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'll be measuring uh, TDS uh, slash PPM, uh, total dissolved solids in the water. I recently installed reverse osmosis system in my house and I want to compare against DI water, pollen spring, tap water, uh, three of this and see uh, if, uh, you know, I made a good decision. Uh, so link all the links are in description if you want to buy this is great unit i've been using for a couple months already you've seen my video uh, if you're not just check the link out i'll put the link somewhere but uh, it's working fine and uh, i have no complaints so uh, let's start the measuring all right so the first one is di water uh, it's the baby di water uh, and um, the reading comes out to be uh, four, as you see. I'm sorry, sometimes the the camera angle is not right, uh, but let me see if I can uh, show you one more time here. Um, yeah. So, yep. There you go. So it's 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 four. And uh, let's move to next pollen spring. I'm gonna wipe in between and make sure there is no residue uh, going from one water to another. All right, so next is pollen spring and um, the reading comes out to be 39 for this. So that's usually the reading should be under 50 or under 40, uh, you're drinking water. Uh, from what I've been reading online and um, what I'm researching uh, so if if anything above 50 you are hitting the you know the water is gonna be hot water and I, I, I research so much that uh, some people say re don't recommend it so reverse osmosis this and that minerals to you know taken taken out from the water but I don't really agree uh, there are a lot of people who recommend it and uh, there's nothing wrong with the uh, reverse osmosis after looking at so many videos and so reading so many forms so here's my tap water reading it comes out to be 128 um, and that is the reason I switched I installed the reverse osmosis system because that's quite high uh, and to be honest, we don't know what exactly inside that water, if there is a lead in there. Um, so, you know, we decided to get this system. And now let's measure the reverse osmosis. Uh, and as you see, the reading comes out to be 12. So it shows that my reverse osmosis is really, you know, it's working and uh, you know, it brought the number down from 128 to 12. So I'm very happy and uh, the taste is fine for the water uh, from the water too from the reverse osmosis so no complaints now next let's measure the ph of each one so the first one is di water baby di water and it com comes out to be 6.26 actually according to online it says it should be between 6.5 and 8.5 so it's a little bit on the low side i guess it's not that bad uh, 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 now next is Poland Spring and uh, that comes out to be even lower than that if I remember so that's five point something actually that's on an acidic side uh, so that's that's I don't know if it's good or bad but uh, actually they say you should be drinking uh, alkaline water uh, it neutralize some of the acid in your stomach but hey I, I'm not scientist I'm just reading from what I've been gathering information from online so uh, I am happy with reverse osmosis and you'll see the pH of that water soon um, uh, so next is my tap water and uh, and the pH was around seven something. Um, so pH wasn't that bad. Uh, it's just, as I said, the TDS is quite high. And uh, I want to 
wanted something you know i could have gone with the five gallons bo uh, bottles uh, and could get it from walmart or home depot but that's just too much work hectic uh changing every you know whenever it gets empty you have to go get it it's, you know i just want something built in so i can just drink it right from my faucet so yeah so it looks like 7.33 uh, 7.34 somewhere like that uh, let's measure the reverse osmosis next all right so we will be measuring reverse osmosis now and um, the water is on the alkaline side it's right uh, on the edge of uh, the edge I found online 6.5 to 8.5 it's I think what I have is 8.5 or something and it says if you have a even higher alkaline pH that means you, you could have a smell uh, from your water but um, from my water I did not have any kind of smell so I'm happy with the way my system is working or the taste and everything um, so yeah uh, it's 8.45 something so I, I hope you found this video useful and um, hope uh, you can make a decision on your water based on this um, and you know I just want to compare against different kind of waters so it gives you some kind of you know idea so Thank you so much for watching.